Hi everybody. Well, my name is Jesus Clemente Gallardo and I am an associate professor of theoretical physics at the University of Zaragoza. And I'm all, I, I am also the, the director of the Ibertides Foundation, which is a Spanish institution devoted to the uh, promotion of digital science. So from that point of view, I'm a special type of researcher since I'm perfectly aware of the power and capabilities of citizen science tools. Right? So, okay, the research project uh, we uh, present uh, combines two different uh, scientific disciplines. On one side, biology, the other side, computer science. Uh, as a project, it is rooted in a former project of us, uh, developed around 2014-2015, uh, whose aim was to create a, a computer platform uh, allowing uh, volunteers, in that case also high school students, to help biologists to analyze uh, microscopy images uh, coming from uh, different uh, cell cultures reacting to the addition of chemical compounds, of, di of different chemical compounds. Right? Uh, okay, we decided to uh, use those resources, okay, the, that computer platform we had, and build on top of it uh, a machine learning platform which uh, uh, should be trained with the information provided by the students. So the students analyze the images, they create some information, and that information trains the computer, uh, which at the end of the process should be able to uh, analyze automatically the, the images from the microscope in the same way as humans, in this case, the students do. Right. Okay, from that point of view, uh, the project uh, can be implemented at the school from two different perspectives. Either as a project in a biological uh, in a biology class or in a computer science one. Okay. Both approaches are perfect, perfectly feasible and actually they have been implemented in, the, in this in this uh, project of us in Madrid and both have been have been, uh, proved very successful okay implementation in the uh, schools in Madrid has been fantastic. I mean, the attitude of the students, uh, the attitude of the teachers were, were absolutely great. I mean, helpful, uh, very, very, very committed. Uh, and also the students, I had less uh, contact with them, just uh, one interview at the beginning and one interview at the end. Uh, but the process uh, was as good as I expected, or even better. I mean, uh, I, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I happen to have some experience with citizen science projects. And okay, in that case, I'm particularly uh, happy with the result. Also, at the end, the uh, system has proved to be uh, very powerful. Mm. Of course, I mean, Everything can be improved, but we are working in, in a new uh, version of the software. But right now, it is able to identify with uh, a high uh, success all cells in the in the picture and uh, identify the state with a very very high uh, efficiency. Okay, so. Uh, uh, that is it. Uh, hope you enjoy uh, the video, that you could follow uh, the process a bit. Uh, 
and uh, hope to see you around. Bye bye.